Come, you masters of war. Here that build the big guns. Hi, guys. Um, I want to show you who's coming to the uh, Aboriginal People's Defense in Canada because um, Canada has some very bad human rights violation against their First Nations peoples. And um, I'm going to show you an article of who's coming to their defense. So um, maybe our uh, Ministry of Propaganda is really just that. I mean, because um, when you see who's coming to their defense, you may take pause and say, well, you know, I heard these were some of the evilest people on earth. Um, so let's go there and look. Okay, hold on. I think this is so groovy, too. Okay. I ran to defend Canadians or Canada's Aboriginal people's rights. Secretary of Iran's High Council, High Council for Human Rights says the Islamic Republic will defend the rights of Aboriginal peoples in Canada, Canada just as it supports all oppressed people across the world. Now, I will probably mess, not say these names right. Muhammad, Mohammed Javid Larajano made the remarks during a meeting with the leader of the Canadian Indigenous People, Terry Nelson, in Tehran on Tuesday. Lara Jano noted that the Canadian Aboriginal people have been marginalized rather than being regarded as the country's cultural wealth. As we defend the rights of people in Bayron, Iraq, Afghanistan, and Palestine, and, um, you know, look what's happening in Palestine. They're, they're becoming an Indian reservation. I mean, before long, they may just be gone, and that's very disheartening and sad. Um, but they, they are defending the aboriginal population. He's a top advisor to the Judi Judiciary Chief Ayatollah Sadiq um, Amale Larjarne stated that, unfortunately, Canada has exploited and even committed genocide against the Aboriginal people rather than investing in their treasure of culture and civilization wealth. And that's no lie for his part. And uh, that's my opinion I, because they, they are consistently terrible to the First Nations. For his part, Nelson praised the Iranian government for its support of Canada's Aboriginal people. The Canadian activist said that Ottawa has denied the Aborig Aboriginal use basic rights of citizenship by keeping them in poverty and not allowing them to study at universities. Nelson pointed to the number of Aboriginal women and girls disappearing in North America country, um, saying, we have a list of 600 missing Native women in recent years in Canada that we do not even know if they have been murdered or used as sex slaves. The UN strongly condemned Canada's record on children's rights recently, accusing Ottawa of systematic discrimination against Aborigines and immigrants. According to reports, Canada has forced thousands of Aboriginal children into ghastly boarding schools where they have been abused sexually psychologically and physically so I just wanted to show you this article Iran defends the Aboriginal peoples and I actually think that's awesome because a lot of people don't know that there are Persian Jews that live in Iran and I believe they they their <clears throat> descent is to Esther or I, I might be saying this wrong in the Bible and um, they, from, now if you go to Wikipedia, you're going to get a different story because um, I think that Wikipedia is actually ran by Israel. Um, but nevertheless, I, um, a lot of them, they say that a lot of the Persian Jews went to Israel. But I had read an article saying that Israel tried to buy 
the Persian Jews to come there, and they all said no, and I can't find that anywhere. I think I had posted that a long time ago. So the, the really true Jewish people that are connected to the Bible live in the land where, where they were from, and that's Iran, and Iran doesn't have a problem with it. Yet, the Zionist Jewish people want to bomb them. Can anyone figure that one out? I'm sure you can, but um, I just thought I'd bring this to your attention. It's a pretty cool story, and I have to thank the Mohawk News for leading me to this story. It's pretty impressive. Anyway, peace, love, and truth to everybody, and I hope you're surviving the heat wave here in Ameristan. It's been pretty hot. I went swimming today. Yay! Hey, and I love everybody.